Java Sub-Saharan in your database. It was impossible. There's no way you could have. They do you understand the levels of deception here? I don't, my brain wasn't working when I figured out how QPADM worked. I was like, so you've declared that there's no sub-Saharan admixture in Neurat Man, but you modeled yourself to get that outcome. This like this is it was impossible to not get that outcome have an Ethiopian sample and they did not include it in their QP ADM modeling. All it takes is for someone to run this study again and include Motorman and see how different that QP ADM result looks. That's all it takes. Like I said, to go to have the sample available and to omit it and then to run it and then to publish it and know that you've done that and the entire body of people Entire body of academics know that you've done that. You're, these people are pathetic. They go, oh, yeah, and this proves a link between the fertile crescent and this, that, and the other. No, what this does is it proves that he has probably got no relationship to the people that you want him to have a relationship to. And you're terrified of including Africans in a study. They haven't shown you any ancient Egyptian um, genomes, be it the 26th, the 30th dynasty, or the um Nurat man compared with African groups. Imagine if we took Nurat man's genome and only compared it to black Africans and then declared with gusto, oh yes, he is, <laughs> you know, name the African group and we didn't include any surrounding non-black African groups for comparison. Kenyans from the late Stone Age, Neolithic, Pastoral Iron Age and Late Iron Age. 201 samples in all, including individuals from Tanzania and Botswana for comparison. It's a major blow to Afrocentrism. QP two-way admixture modeling with East Africans shows that ancient Kenyans, including Dinka, Ethiopians, Congolese and Khoisan Bushmen, consistently fail to cluster with Nurat, regardless of time period or location. None of the samples fit, which is why they weren't included in the main analysis of the paper. So when he claims that the authors didn't include a single sub-Saharan or East African genome or didn't perform two-way admixture modelling with them, he's lying.